singer, multi-instrumentalist, actor, dancer, songwriter, the great artist that is Prince. He sold over 150 million records. I'm in musical heaven right now. But a man who was so much in the spotlight still remains somewhat of a mystery. A new photo book, Prince Icon, hopes to shed some light on who the man was, as told through the lens of the photographers that took them. I'm at a special exhibition at the Iconic Images Gallery in London, where some of the photos are on display. The most incredible entertainers we've ever had. He changed the way so many of us think and feel. British photographer David Corio's images are some of those featured. What was he like to photograph? He was a challenge. A I challenge. Mean, he came out and, you know, he had this sort of pistol microphone. It's almost like Prince is looking at you. One time at Wembley I shot him and there was so much smoke and dry ice that all just sort of dropped into the photo pit. You could barely see him. He was, you know, bouncing around and just sort of full on from the get-go. All that personality in a picture, do you think you did it? Nearest I got to it certainly was with him dancing and that sort of captures his energy. It was sort of choreographed but it, it felt sort of natural as well. Greg Brennan managed to capture some more candid images of the superstar. He looks like a real prince. It's the, the flash in the sunglasses, the cane. For me, I mean, he was almost royal like. It was an honor to photograph this man. Would he stand and pose or would you have to get after him? He would stand and pose at official events. He'd put outside very rarely. He was quick. Yeah. What do you mean by quick? Like gazelle kind of quick. <laughs> he, he would come out of the car so fast. Even at, for this particular picture here in Leicester Square, and there were a couple of security guards either side, and, mm. and they opened some umbrellas. But I came straight under one of them and got this one shot just perfectly. He walked past me, and as he was going in the door, he turned back, he looked at me. And he goes, yo, I like that. That was slick. <laughs> this wasn't long before he died. Uh, it was, it was really sad then to hear of his passing, but to be able to photograph him is quite an honour. Steve Park spent 13 years as Prince's in-house art director at his Minneapolis home, Paisley Park. Steve, that must have been a dream job. It was. It was a dream job, and it could be like, as anyone would imagine, a nightmare job sometimes as well. <laughs> Started out doing uh, pretty much anything that needed to be painted. He would call on me for that. Um, I ended up doing the Graffiti Bridge album cover. I, I redesigned some of the interior of Paisley Park Studios with him. One night we sat up based on Polaroid pictures, scanned them, and then drew on top of them. Next day people were in there painting the building. It was crazy. I can't think of anyone at his stature that would just turn around and say, let's give you a go. I love this inside. So come on, what was he like at home? It depended on the day. It just was go, go, go. But he could also be very relaxed. He would bring things up to me mm. that he just finished. Put it on a CD and put it in. She had the first listen. Yes. Um, one day he just walked around the park and he said, "Here's a spot I want to take some pictures." He sat down on a bench and I took pictures of him. And he sat on the ground and closed his eyes and the sun was on him. And there was no stress, no pressure. He was very confident in who he was. It's great to see the little intimate shots, and it gives a real insight into his character. Very quiet, unassuming, shy. It shows him in different lights but his personality, it comes through. It's nice to see the candid photos as well as the portrait ones, and that for me is nostalgia. Photographing Prince was like capturing lightning in a bottle. There's not many pop stars that you could say that about, but he was explosive and dynamite and looked amazing. Seeing all these incredible photos gives us a little glimpse into who the man behind the music was. But with Prince, there's always gonna be an air of mystery. And I don't think he would have wanted it any other way. Yeah.